Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. And that's been a problem. It's been so beautiful for the whole month that uh, I got behind on life. So I actually took the whole last week off from fishing just so I can catch up with all about the bait stuff, taking care of Esky, getting a bunch of new merchandise added to the store, buying food, doing laundry, cleaning the house, <laughs> life stuff. But we're finally back out after eight days and it's still a beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. So we're gonna do a little bit of fishing. I wanna kinda do a dry run, make sure I've got everything. Fortunately, uh, we're doing this because I forgot my tackle box. That's kind of necessary. So today is gonna be kinda run what you brung. So these are the setups I've got and that's all I've got. Uh, so we're gonna see what we can find and uh, try to bend a rod. So that's the plan. Here's a cool thing that happens uh, if you leave your motor inside your car leaning on its side for eight days. I would originally been planning on getting out, whoa, whenever I could, but uh, I just kept on putting it off. So this has been sitting in my car and now we have what's called a hydro locked. I can't pull this pull starter, it's locked up. What the problem is, is that the pressure builds up from the gas and it forces its way into through the carburetor and then down through the valves and into the uh, combustion, combustion chamber around the piston and it fills up with fluids, gas. So right now I try to pull on it, it's full of gas so the piston can't compress, nothing can move. So what I have to do is pull the spark plug out, that's probably sopping wet, put in a new spark plug while while the spark plug's out, pull it a bunch of times to try to blow as much gas out as possible, put a new spark plug in and then give it a pull. So yeah, there's another reasons for not, not going fishing. So first thing we've got to do is take the plug out. If we can. not good I bet you that's yep full of gas Look at that so that we're gonna put to the side to dry out I can still use it and I keep a spare plug in my container here looks pretty beat up but hopefully this will work but before I do that I'm going to now be able to pull it see it goes smoothly now I'm gonna blow out as much of that gas that's locked in there all right see all the gas look at all that gas that's blown out of there and oil that's not good I should let it uh, sit for a while, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this plug in and give it a shot. If I just leave the plug out and then with the heat, it'll evaporate the fuel that's in there. But so will starting it, so. plug wire back on and if we're lucky we'll get it to fire off and smoke out all that fuel if not I'm gonna have to leave the spark plug out for a little while oh fired run baby run <laughs> just take a few seconds to clear out and then we'll be good to go all right conditions are Atlantic side definitely low tide we've got wind coming out of the south I uh, know it's feeling like 10 knots I'm seeing white cabin out there so it's a bit blustery on this side so 
I'm just gonna take a quick run out to the edge there and then I think the rest of our time we need to go on the leeward side the gulf side play around over there so let's see what we see might just have to do a little blind casting because I cannot see nothing all right so we banked it up on this little peninsula here do some blind casting wish I had my tackle box because I'd put a uh, quarter ounce bonefish jig with a esky shrimp so I could have a little bit more weight to cast into this wind this fast current but we ain't got that so we're gonna stick with the bonefish jigs and we're just gonna river bounce them along the bottom here see what we catch all right we moved to the Atlantic side not too far from Bahia Honda there uh, I found one rusty circle hook so oh I think I had a sinker too yeah I've got a, a knocker rig set up so I've got that so I might try to find six pilchards and then fish under the bridge I think would be just something fun to do but in the meantime the water's too low for me to get to the pilchard spot so in the meantime I'm going to just kind of see if I can find any tarpon since I've got the fly rod with one one schmino so we can do that while we're waiting for the water to come up heck it might be even too shallow for the tarpon they might have pushed out so skinny right now all right i see some bodies in that hole right there got the fly rod oh Oh, a little high. Let's see if any of them are around there. Can't see them now. Oh, they're, they're swimming away. Might have spooked them. Oh, I see them there. Oh, there they come. He's looking. They're right underneath it. Oh, there's like four or five of them. They're all right there. Oh, there's a cuda there too. I don't want that. Oh, there's a big old pocket full of them. Oh, oh, Cuda. Just gonna leave it there. See if one will kind of come pop it. There's one coming out. Oh, the Kuda's eating it. There he comes. There he comes. There he comes. Oh, oh. There he goes. Got him. <laughs> now he saw that Kuda had it and he was like, no, that's mine. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Come away from your buddies. Gotcha. All righty. Harpoon done. Tide is still low. Can't get over to my pilchards. Although. There 
There it goes. The jumper. Come around, man. Come on this side. Oh, anchor's on this side. Don't want it you there. Keep you up top. Yeah, buddy. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Not. Oh! Just in time. Saved it. Alright, you're done, buddy. I'm going to let you go. I just want my fly back. You're still peppy. You're still peppy, aren't you? Got you in the lower lip. The tongue. I just want my fly back. Excuse me. There it goes. There it goes. A good old schmino. And our little tarpon boy. God, it just rain. Nice. Mission accomplished. Well, we just had a little bit of disaster. We went to sit down to go underneath the bridge. And I heard a clunk clunk. And then that was the little egg sinker I had in my pocket. It fell out of the pocket fell underneath the rolled underneath the seat and out through the drain so my egg sinker the only one I had is gone so now I just have one circle hook but I don't even know if it's worth it to go get pilchards I have nothing weighted to get them down but the water's come up a little bit so at least I can get to the pilchard spot easy enough so I'll go take a look so sad I saw something over here it has a NOAA sticker on it. What is that? Is that just a little marker or is that electronics? Got a lot of heavy duty line attached to it. Harmless weather instrument. Huh. Wonder if it has, yeah, it's got to have electronics in it. It's got the little switch for it. Huh. Interesting. Oh, that must be goes to where the battery pack or something are. Oh, I saw this line. I thought it was attached to that, but what is this attached to? Well, it goes all the way underneath there. Huh. See if maybe they want this back. www.weather.gov upper air radio sound. Oh, this might have went on a balloon. I don't know. We'll go check it out. See what it is. All right. Got any pilchards? No weeds, so that's new. Cool ring. safety ring a heavy duty safety ring score all right
right, we are back home, done for the day. Quick shakedown trip, but pretty important. Uh, I need to get gas for my gas can there. Uh, one of my reels, the um, screw that holds on the main shaft is getting loose, so I could feel it getting clunky, so that's kind of important. Uh, oh, I need my tackle box, which is right there. Forgot that, baby. And then, uh, yeah, I think we'll be ready for tomorrow's trip which I want to get out to the content keys and um, hit the channels that go through there. So mainly for mangroves, but I also want to see if my mullet schools are in a spot on the way there. So a little bit of work to do today, but I got back early, so all's good. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye. All right, so I looked this up using their website there, this radio song. Um, and basically it says if it's found in water, throw it away. So definitely going to be a bad issue with salt water. So I can already see the rust stain. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of rip this thing apart. See what it is. There's the uh, serial number information. I don't know what this went to. There wasn't one on the website that looked like this. So... I'm not sure if this was attached to something else and then it got lost or how that works, but it's just like an old school cell phone, basically, the way it was designed. But I can take it apart because that goes there. And that's basically all it was housing was this board here, circuit board. And then a couple of uh, rechargeable batteries or lithium batteries. And I guess it, uh, there must have been some sort of Wi Fi capability or something to send signals. And I'm assuming it was upper, it said upper air. So it's probably on some sort of weather balloon or something. Maybe it was on the blimp road uh, blimp. But there you go. That's what was in it. And now it's going in the garbage.